A fighter that moves up in weight is how am I going to deal with that size advantage? I mean, that's a huge thing. You've seen people that are super talented technically advance than their opponent, but that weight just really weighs them down. Weight is a huge factor. So it's the game plan that he really needs to, to focus on, and that is not really clinching up with him. He can shoot for the legs, but he doesn't want to get sprawled on. He can stay in the pocket, but he's got to be careful of those power shots. This is a dangerous opponent, even though Smith Jr. hasn't been tested necessarily on a higher level as Escudero, he's still very, very dangerous and has that one punch knockout power. As we see uh, Leonard, uh, Lucky Smith Jr. about ready to get into his fight with Efren Escudero from San Diego, California with a 10 and eight pro record. Last fought back in 2017, where he suffered a head kick KO loss to Eric Smith in the first round. His last win came in July of 2015, a submission win against Israel Quintero, which was a rematch of the very first pro fight that he had in which he lost to Quintero via knockout. Like, as we mentioned, this man right here normally fights at light heavyweight. And he's dropping down to 170 pounds to make this fight. Lost a significant amount of weight. This is his first fight at this weight as he now steps into the cage taking on an opponent that has a lot more experience than him in Efren Escudero. And what you were saying about the weight cut, that is something that could possibly be a factor. How does he handle that weight cut? How much weight did he actually have to cut? Did he diet down properly? Did he train properly? Did he do enough cardio? These all things are going to be showcased in this fight. Echo in Mexico making his way to the ring. Efren Escadero with a record of 30 and 16. The season eight winner of the Ultimate Fighter attempting to have his first fight at 170 pounds. Fought a majority of his career at 155 pounds at lightweight, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona. 15 wins by submission, 13 by decision. Trying to bounce back from losses in his last two fights, all happening overseas where Escadero felt that he won those fights and was given a bad shake. His last win came in June of 2018 against Jason High, but that was a highly controversial one that happened at the PFL as Jason High was in a position where he never tapped. The referee felt, or at least thought he tapped when he was looking at him and Escadero was awarded the decision, excuse me, the submission win. Now the last fight that Iskadero had was in August of this year in Russia, like we mentioned, the fight which he felt that he won against Rasul Shovahalov. At a point in his career where he's at a good place, he's taking training seriously, and he's looking to make one last push, one last run at bigger fights, significant fights. In this, his last portion of his professional career. So he has Cadero pacing around. Smith Jr. looking at his opponent. Take it up to a ring announcer to get the particulars of this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, the 
Kamarun, Lodimus, Hiviratas, it's no more tea, Katie. Ah, it's fighting time. It's time for the pelier. Presentando primero el esquina azul. Presenting first at the blue corner. It's something scale. 81 kilos, 800 grams. He's wearing a blue with black trim. From San Diego, California. Dame la bienvenida a Leonard Smith. The lucky. Teniendo como contrincante en la esquina roja, llegando con un peso de 78 kilos, 500 gramos, 7, 8, 500, originario de San Luis, Río Colorado, procedente de Yuma, Arizona, el primer mexicano en UFC. Y el único en ganar de Ultimate Fighter. Además, fue el coach de la segunda temporada de The Ultimate Fighter Latinoamérica. Recibamos con un récord de 30 peleas ganadas, 16 perdidas. Efraín hecho en México. Ahí fue que... Ok, guys, you know the rules. I want a good fight, a clean fight. Muchachos, ya conocen las reglas. Quiero una pelea limpia y una pelea dura. Protect yourself at all times and obey my commands at all times. Protejanse en todo momento y obedezcan mis instrucciones en todo momento. Touch up, lo que guantes. Your corners. No touching of the gloves here as we are about to begin our main event. Here in the best of MMA, Marcos Viegas on the call here with Jessica Penny. Efren Escudero taking on Leonard Smith Jr. Let's go, round number one as Leonard Smith Jr. Oh. bump rushes. Escudero takes him down. Escudero scrambling, gets control now in a better position than he was before. He's About to mount and he down. gets it. Yep, going to mount. And this is where he goes to work, Efren is Really going back to his grappling roots in this fight. He's got good control. That's the back of Leonard Smith Jr. Yeah, he Smith does Bridges. Now. Smith Bridges and goes to his knees. And with Efron on his back, that's a really vulnerable position right there. It's not a position he wants to be in. He needs to get his back to the mat, start shrimping out, trying to create that space. Might be a short night of work here if Smith cannot defend or advance this position. These are some hard shots that Escudero is landing on him. Efren looks to stretch him out and just really neutralize any kind of defense that he has. Efren's doing a good job of riding that back, but he needs to be careful. And he rolls him to his back. He needs to be careful that Smith doesn't explode and get back onto the top. Efren using those hooks really nicely keeps with the body lock and it's just really controlling the much bigger explosive opponent in Smith. Jessica Dare, I mean, excuse me, Smith attempted to transition out of that. Didn't work out for him as Escudero was stuck on him. Good job of uh, controlling, keeping his hips heavy. Smith has not been able to get out of this position. Been on the defensive for just about the whole entire round. Efren's working on getting him pinned up against the cage and that can be either a tool or a weapon. Uh, right now he's using it to really neutralize his opponent. He's got his back to the fence and he's gonna look to maybe pry him back down to the mat. What can Smith do in this position? This is a really bad position. Honestly, Smith needs to get 
get his shin to the fence, get his back to the mat. He has options, but he's just not doing one of them. He's being really overwhelmed by Escudero. Uh, the, the worst thing he can do is just sit still and let Escudero mount his offense. If I were Smith, I would get my back to the mat. I would start really trying to pry that left leg of Escudero. Again, he does not want to have Escudero on his back. If he would crawl over to the cage, he could start using it to walk up the wall. Elbows now being landed by Escudero. Transitions over. Smith covering up. There. He's you know back what? to his feet. Hats off to Smith. He was really patient in that position. He was he was turtling up and he was trying to protect himself he because he knew he had down. nowhere to go. Yeah. Now in full mound is Escadero. Softening up the midsection of Smith Jr. He's gonna look to put his. <laughs> oh, Smith, yeah, Jr. Smith is relying on these explosive movements to try and get up and out, but it's just not technically savvy enough for for anything. Misses that elbow, does Escudero, but follows it up with another one. More elbows being landed by Escudero. No, Smith's got to move. What a tough <laughs> four minutes for Smith Jr. Escudero is just relentless with those takedowns. He knows that he's going to be in control on the ground. Again, it's easier belly. said than done. Smith needs to let go of that head, stop holding Escudero onto him, create space, and get out. Smith struggling to mount any sort of offense. He's been on the defensive this whole entire and round. Looks like it's underneath the neck. In danger, or was, as Efren Escudero continues to work. Asking Eric Darrow, 10 seconds left in this ahead, round number one. one Big elbows being landed by him, punches. Seconds. Smith in full defensive mode. He will make it out of this round. Escudero just getting really creative with those big knees. Right. All Escudero in round number one. What'd you make of uh, how he fought this first round, Jessica? Well, I think Escudero did a great job of just staying with the pressure on top of Smith. He gave him no room to move, and every time he gave move, it was to advance his position, which speaks to the high level of jiu-jitsu that he has and the wrestling level that he has. You only give your opponent a certain way to move, and if they take it, you capitalize on it. Crafty veteran stuff right there. And for Leonard Smith Jr., had a really bad round. What does he need to do to change the momentum to his favor coming into the second round. So what he's doing is he's waiting for his opportunity to explode to get up, but it's just it's just not enough. Escudero is too crafty for that. He's too he's too just advanced in grappling for that. So what he needs to do is he needs to move and move and move again. It's going to take 2 3 4 attempts on the ground if he gets into that position. Right now he's got to go. He's got to blitz him. So we get round number two. Leonard Smith throwing a series of kicks. Escudero so Smith needs to forward. go forward because when he goes backwards, he's susceptible to those takedowns. Escudero Just like that, Escudero, big takedown. But Leonard Whoa. Smith getting back up to his feet. Escudero, Escudero said he again. wanted to go back to his wrestling roots, and he is doing it tonight. Escudero now in control once more. He's looking for a Von Flu. If he would turn him away from the cage, he would have enough space to really get his hips down and solidify that choke. Right now, Escudero is trapping that arm of Smith that is trying to choke him, and he can turn into a choke of himself by putting his shoulder pressure into the throat of Smith. It's a very, very tight choke, but Smith gets out of it or Escudero abandons the position. And again, he's in great position to just ahead. posture up and punch right here. Yeah, the wrestling really uh, shining through for Escudero. 
in this fight against Leonard Smith Jr. 15 wins by submission. Let's see if he could eke out the 16th of his career. As you say that, he's definitely working on isolating the arm of Smith. It looks like he has a Kimura attempt. See if he's gonna rip it out. If Smith doesn't start getting to his back flat, he's gonna get submitted. Escudero working hard, keeping position, and really trying to isolate that arm to get that finish. Oof. He's getting close to being able to crank it out. No, he is. I don't know how much longer Smith can hold on to it. He has, he's lost the grip of his other hand, which is what's holding Escudero from being able to submit him. He's gotta be careful. If Escudero could turn him off the cage just a little bit, he would have a little bit more leverage. Escudero having to abandon that attempt. Now in the north-south position, elbows to the hamstrings. Leonard Smith Jr. He scrambles, takes his back. And again, that's that like single explosive movement that I'm talking about from Smith. That one movement is not going to do it. He has to move two, three more times to transition to it. Smith attempts to explode out of that position. Escudero just all over him, not letting him breathe, making things really difficult for him here. Come to two minutes left in this round number two. Fight scheduled for three rounds at 170 pounds. Escudero's first fight at 170. Trying to bounce back from back-to-back -back losses is Escudero. Has been active this year. His last fight came in August of this year, but he lost it in Russia. For Smith, hasn't been very active. This is his first fight in two years. Hasn't gotten a win since 2015. Escudero moving to mount, and this is, this is again, I need a sense of urgency from Smith here. He's eaten some hard, hard shots by Escudero. Big, big shot right Escudero there. looking for the Watch finish. The, Watch the, back of the, head, the ref standing over him. Smith looks, he's in a bad spot. It's one thing to be calm and composed under pressure, but but I just need a sense of urgency. Armbar attempt here from Escudero. The armbar attempt. See if Smith can pop out here. Oh, he still has it. He still has it. If he grabs that arm and he can just flip it, flip it over, sweep him to the top. Short time here, 20 seconds left in this round number two. Oh, is Leonard Smith for a towel. now <laughs> unleashing punches. Has the back of Escudero. Escudero though takes Smith down. 10 seconds. Final 10 seconds. More elbows coming by way of Escudero. I love how Escudero is. He isolated the left arm of Smith and just that really left him open for a lot of strikes. Escudero just really impressing me with his relentless pace. More the same, I think. Safe to say that Escudero up two rounds so far. Though in that final 30 seconds, Leonard Smith finally showing some signs of life, throwing punches. Again, it's, it's not gonna be enough, just that one explosive movement. And then Escudero went up with him and took him right back down again. He's it's gotta do more, he's gotta go for broke in this round because this is his last opportunity. It seems that the wrestling of Escudero just uh, a little too much for Leonard Smith Jr. And that's what he said he wanted to do in this fight. He wanted to go back to his roots. He wanted to out-wrestle him. And, and I love that I'm seeing this from him because he is 
really great transitions. We begin our final round here, Efren Escudero, uh, Leonard Smith Jr. Escudero seemingly in control the last two rounds as Leonard Smith starting this round out with big kicks. Escudero's gotta be careful reaching for those. Small cage in here tonight. Not a lot of space to move. Smith comes charging forward as Cadero. Smith knows that this knee. is his last chance. He is swinging wild. And that's that one, two that he's put people out. Says Cadero. Scooping up Leonard Smith, dumping him. Big slam. Oh. And that has just got to be so frustrating for Smith. Steps over to Mount. And again, just raining down those punches and completely dominating Smith on the ground, it's looking to isolate that arm. So far. Continues to just grind, 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 put in work here in this position. Big elbows. Smith attempting to avoid damage. Has to turn over, on, belly down. Come on. And Smith's just turtling up at this point, trying to, to figure out what his next move is, but I don't think he has an answer for this. Flattened out it's now. Him. Referee getting a very close look at the position that Leonard Smith's in. He's taking, he's taking a lot of damage in this position. Though a lot of these punches are, and strikes are blocked though. A lot of being They're blocking, but body. some are slipping yeah. in. Escudero continuing. Escudero really to wants to find offense. that finish. Smith needs to do something big here. He's down two rounds in this fight. Has an Efren Escudero oh. on top of him that's been relentless. His work rate has been great. Continuing to dish out punishment to his opponent. Smith hasn't had an answer at this point with Escudero just on him. But the moment he tries to get up, Escudero blocking him from getting up. It looks like Escudero's just content to punish him. He doesn't really want to finish him, but he just wants to make him pay. Just grind him out. Yeah, he's making, it, he's making Leonard Smith earn all that money. Hard not to work here for him. Once again, Escudero having the back of Leonard Smith. Looking for that choke now. Let's see if he's got this one. One minute left in this uh, round number three. It's been all takedowns and punishment from Escudero to Leonard Smith. Escudero stepping over looking for for a heel hook I think. Oh, oh he tapped, he gets, he gets it. Tap. Efren Escudero. You okay? Getting okay. the submission win via heel hook here. Round number three. And you can just Leonard Smith Jr. not happy. See with how the fight ended. No, that is that is a tough, frustrating fight for Smith. And Escudero 
back on the winning track. Gets his 16th submission win to his professional record. Good, got good time in there in the cage, got good work in there. What'd you make of uh, how he fought, Jessica? I thought he fought a very smart fight against a much bigger, stronger, more powerful opponent. He completely neutralized Smith at, at every turn. It was very impressive. And I mean, even those big, huge jumps, Escudero used to fight at 155 pounds, went up to 170 while his opponent come down from 205. That is, that's a huge gap in weight. That's a huge gap in size and power. So we take a look here at the, the finish, Jessica, walk us through it. You see Escudero isolating that leg from half guard and now he steps over, pulls the leg on top and now he's digging for that heel. Smith trying to punch off at first, but he realizes that it's just it's too late at that point. It's just too late. What he should have done is started fighting off the hands. He started should have started moving his hips out, but I just don't think he was aware of the danger that he was in by the crafty veteran in Escudero. And that just speaks to the comfort of Escudero because to go for a heel hook in an MMA fight I, that's that's pretty risky, but I think he was very confident, very very self assured that his skill set could finish the fight from that position. Escudero 